October is Women's History Month, and the Alberta government thinks it's about time women had more say in boardrooms and council rooms. Rochelle Venn, who is CEO for the Institute of the Advancement of Aboriginal Women, says right now, Indigenous women are not represented nearly enough. There's never enough, and, and the one thing is, is that they add to the, the, the quality of the decisions that are made, right? So, um, so we believe that uh, the, more, um, the more women, the more diversity on those decision-making tables, we will get better decisions. To do that, the Alberta government is providing a grant of $100,000 to Venn's Institute. Stephanie McLean is the Alberta Minister for the Status of Women. We are ensuring that we are um, having Indigenous and immigrant women see themselves as leaders in our community, as leaders in the province, but also uh, we're doing that with a view to building them up towards a point where um, we want them to run for election. The Institute will be providing leadership workshops starting next month. Those include women's circles, public speaking lessons, and how to run for political office. This year, there are more women than ever running in the upcoming municipal elections, including Taz Boucher and Miranda Jimmy in Edmonton and Michelle Robinson in Calgary are all running for office. Venn says that's encouraging. It's very good to see because often we deal with um, people who may not think that their voice is important and and we just want to encourage everybody that if they have that desire um, you know there's lots of roles for people outside of politics as well. Chris Stewart, APTN National News, Edmonton.